I like drama in the music, not in life. <laughs> for the masters. Well, I play my trombone with many different colors, and in the shelves, that's yet another color. And the masters, I'm playing with the masters, and it's an honor. I'm something I've always dreamed of, playing with these individuals who are grandmasters, I'll say. I learned a lot playing with Ron. It's, it, he anchored the rhythm section it made it so easy to play, and and it really helped me to develop the concept of less is more, to where I don't have to feel I have to play everything I know, I can just play the music. And Kenny Barron, his touch, his colors, and the ballad that I wrote, Quiet Too, what he played is just what, as a composer, it was even more than what I could have conceived the song to be. He captured the spirit and the moment of that song perfectly. And, uh, you know, Jimmy, his beat is timeless. You know, it's a, it's a pleasure, and I love the way Steve plays, so it's, it's a pleasure to do this. I'm very happy I could. You know, and uh, playing with these guys, I was playing with Mr. Ron Carter and Mr. Jimmy Cobb. And nothing could be better than that. Well, the vibe is good, you know, we've got good players there. You can't do nothing, we'd be okay. You know, all the things you have to do is worry about getting the tunes together at a quick pace, you know, because you expected to do all this today. You know, that's like a, like the old times. You used to get a record date, and they give you four hours, and that's it. You have to come up with an album. You know, so this is sort of like what that used to be. There's four tunes that feature my good friend Javon Jackson on the tenor saxophone. And, and I felt that those tunes work better with the quintet with the sound of the two horns. And just gives it a different color. There's another color. And Ciro Batista, we played together on several occasions. But Ciro is a master of the Brazilian percussion and all percussion in general. Colors for the Masters is written in the modal style. It's one of my favorite styles to play in. Of course, the experience with Woody Shaw set the stage for that. It also reflects on my experience working a lot with McCoy Tyner and recording with him. It's for all the great musicians that came before me that I'm still learning from. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,